floor readers, the five second rule is definitely a myth. Now, it has been disproved before by Mythbusters, but apparently it still persists. So a YouTube science channel, Vsauce, set out to disprove it once again, and here's what they found. As soon as your food hits the floor, okay, within five seconds, it will pick up anywhere from 150 to 8,000 bacteria. Now, after just one minute, that number is 10 times greater. And interestingly enough, 50% of men admit to using the rule as opposed to 70% of women. Thoughts, five words or less. I refuse to believe this. Honey, my stomach is industrial. <laughs> Depends on where it's dropped. Oh my god, <laughs> that was mine! It's <laughs> in the tea. Uh, guilty as charged. <laughs> So yeah, it depends where it's dropped. If like if I drop it on like my floor or this floor, I would totally pick it up and eat it right this now. This floor? Yeah. <laughs> Don't know about that. That's what it is. I, I need to tell you about my little extra hobby called dancing on shit. And then I come and I walk right over here. So you might want to think twice about this red carpet. I mean, if it's really quick, like if I was eating something that was so delicious and I had one bite left and it fell yeah. within like a second, I would I would pick it up. It depends on the food. Because yes. if it's something sticky like a lollipop, girl, that's gone. True. That's after the cat. Or if it's wet. Yeah. I'm less afraid of, uh, of bacteria than I am of like hair and gross Me things. Me too. Yes. I don't care if you I get do sick. I just don't want to have to do that's this. That's my weakness. Yeah, oh. I'm, yo, totally. Oh, don't, don't. That's so oh, true. You don't understand. That's my but phobia. But you don't vomit. Interesting. That's my phobia. No, but I Choking will. on hair is no. your phobia? Oh, oh, <laughs> no. Halfway down, and then you have to pull oh, it out. Stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. 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 Her eyes are watering. Her eyes are watering. <laughs> okay. okay. So, really quickly, we're all offenders. Are you an offender? Or you actually use the rule? I've used it. I thought it was real. Yeah. Listen, here's my <laughs> You thought it was real. Thought it was real. I thought it was yes, I thought it was real. <laughs> but I'm good. Even though I thought it was real, it's like potato salad. You can't eat, you can't eat everyone's potato salad. I don't eat my mom's potato salad. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. I've eaten somebody else's. But the point <laughs> is, it depends on the floor. You have yes. to have a discerning eye. Now, girl, if you're a hot mess, okay, and you have a bunch of cats and there's cat hair Ew. all over the place. Okay, girl, I don't know about that one. Yeah. But if you keep right. it cute, girl, I can pick that French fry up. There's definitely variables to this rule. Here's the how, can, how much can we trust these scientists who say anywhere between 800 and 15,000 bacteria. <laughs> right. If I was like, oh, you have a, a between 800, that's such a huge gap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the deal. It doesn't make a difference sure. whether you put something from the floor in your mouth or whether you touch a doorknob that has feces that's on true. it. That's true. You're still gonna touch your eye by accident or you're gonna rub your nose and There's that bacteria, bacteria everywhere. 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 Hello. everywhere. And I love what, what the five second rule comes from. It just seems like there's these bacteria who are like, I'm gonna make you shit blood, but ugh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, <laughs> three Mississippi. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> That's amazing. Were yeah. you guys surprised to hear the statistic that women admit to it or do it more than it's men? A, it's an excuse for us to be disgusting, finally. It's an excuse. Because we're really disgusting. What or you do guys you don't know about us is we're disgusting. I feel like women get more attached to like their brownie or like their food that they're eating. <laughs> I do. You? <laughs> you don't think so? Like if you're having a really good brownie, I feel like a guy, if he drops a piece, he's like, whatever. But a girl's like, oh my God, my brownie. I'll do that no? Okay. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. That's I hilarious. Think the guys are more like, uh, but there's more food right here. <laughs> Keep it real. Hold on. I think everyone does it depending on who's around. If I'm by myself, I'll do it all the time. But if you're with a group of people, then you'll be like, oh girl, I'll just let that slide. <laughs> What's the grossest thing you guys have ever eaten? Whether it was on a dare or just because. I was at uh, an Armenian party in Glendale and it got oh weird. Oh my gosh, that's and so we, stereotypical. And we ate calf brains. Ew, that's so sad. But I, I couldn't swallow, I had to spit. I swallowed a, a fly once actually when I, I was running. To. So that just means, so that means I run with my mouth open, which is so ugly. That's so ugly. I didn't even think about that. Um, but I guess that's the grossest thing I've ever eaten was a fly. But anyways, what do you guys think about the five second rule? Do you use it? And what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.